Hello and welcome back to another episode of Arc Genesis Primal Fear. You are joined here by myself, Mr. Ghost 917. So thank you very much for tuning in for yet another episode. This episode, I have done some work off camera, so obviously uh, this is going to be a bit of a shock to you all. I have built two platforms, one massive platform here for dinos, I think, possibly. I think this might be a teleportation expansion of our building. Um, yeah, it was extremely hard and took a lot of deaths and stuff to build. And then secondly, I built this. I found a dead um, turtle. Oh god, I don't even think I... Oh uh, yeah, let me slide this. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I found a dead turtle. I didn't kill one. Um, I found a dead turtle ro roaming around. Or not roaming. He was dead. Floating around. <laughs> so I went to harvest him, got shell fragments, and I was like, what are these? And then I worked out, this is what you need for this. What you need for the ocean platform. So, I have done, I have built one of them. And the Sarko can kind of glitchily get up there. So, he's alright with that. Oh god, there's so many dinos everywhere. This episode, we need to go to the magma biome and get an Argentavus. I'm thinking, let's take Rex. However, the Rex probably will die. So what do we need? What do we have? We don't have any taming helpers. We need a taming helper. Ideally. Which means we're going to have to buy more stuff. Do we have an RG? We do definitely do, don't need fur in the volcano biome. Yes, we do have an Argentava saddle. That's good. Because that's what we need. And then once we've got the Argentavas, we need to tame some... Okay, I have 15 of them, one of them, whoops, one of them, I think I need these as well. Um, after we tame the RG, we need to go and tame some toxic dinos, so I need, what, which ones are they, are they rare flowers? Let's buy some rare flowers, um, exchange hex funds. Got some hexabonds you're keen to spend. Okay, let's double, buy, let's double buy two of them. Okay, let's go consumables, uh, drugs, taming helpers. We need toxic blood for that, yeah. Cool. So let's just grab that one, and we should be good. Because we only need one for an RG. It's not going to be one of these um, bigger dinos that need more. I don't think. It could be. But I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. We'll probably need some prime meat. But that's probably why I'm... Oh, God, that's my phone going off. Shouldn't have my phone on during recordings. Whoops. Oh well, it's probably going to go off a few more times. No, in my luck. Like, in a minute. <laughs> and see another message being typed. Um, so, let's go Volcano. East. We're probably going to die. But I shall see you when we get there. Okay, I have arrived. And I am finding some dodicruses. And that is an Alpha Basilisk. We do not want to be anywhere near that. Oh, I've accidentally angered an Ankylosaurus. So I want to run down here as quickly as possible because that Basilisk is going to kill me. Yeah, that Basilisk is going to kill me if he catches me. See, this is why I kind of didn't want to bring the T-Rex. He is extremely dangerous to bring. Okay. Now we are secured a little more. Okay. What's this mission here? Oh, um, the summit tour. No thanks. Um, let's get rid of that. Okay, what else is down here? So we got what's that? It's thorny dragon. But I see two RGs. 57 and a 27. Not great levels, but if we can tame one of them, we can get more of them. This is actually the edge of the map as well. Okay. So, hopefully, what torpor does this have? Okay. Don't. I want to kind of hit him in the head, and I want him to be facing me. So, right, let's anger him. Oh, okay. I shot as he angered. Okay. He's out. There you go. So now we just need some prime meat. But I don't even think 
we're going to get any. It might as well use meat, I think. Pump some melee damage on him. Let's get him so he can kill some more people. Thorny Dragon's having a nice fight down there. I don't want to step on this guy. Okay, is there actually a high level? 27, what's that one? Z27 as well, yeah. 78. Ooh, I kind of want him. He is a mile away, though. I might just tame this guy up with this and see if I'm going to get the other guy. Tame helper, he should instantly tame. I hope. Maybe. Come on. Uh, yeah, okay, it's more meat, so he won't tame instantly. But he'll... He should tame with this, yes, because he's over 50% when there's 15 seconds left half of the time. So he should tame in time. Hopefully. There you go. So the other one probably might not if I had a taming helper, so he's going to be a while to tame. Let's put a saddle on you. I can't send the Rexy back on his own, so I'm just going to have to use this guy as he is. That one is definitely a 27. And that is the 78 over there. Shall I just get this guy back? Get another tame helper and see if we can get another one. I think that might be the better idea because I don't trust leaving my Rex here. Rexes are good, but not in this. So I think if we teleport back now, and I shall see you when we get back to the volcano biome with another taming helper. And we're on our RG this time with no Rex. Okay, and we are back in the volcano biome. I have got two taming helpers now in case one isn't enough. Uh, we don't have a saddle for it, and we don't have any prime meat. I should have brought some, but I was not thinking fully. What is that? Oh, a light feather light. It needs elemental advance kibble. That is something I do not have, and I probably will not have for a while. A long, long while. I haven't even got to Apex yet in my streaming series, up, where you don't even know about that part yet, because... I haven't streamed again since I've done some very uh, big improvements, but it's been over the course of like a week. I've had like half an hour here, half an hour there, so I haven't streamed it, but... Yeah, what are these? Are these... They're scorpions. I'm trying to find a toxic... Or a... <laughs> a definitely not an Omega Rex. <laughs> Like, I would love an Omega Rex. Look at his speed. Oh my god, if I let him bite me, I'm dead. I'm like so dead. Oh my god. That thing will own. He is so, so quick. He needs Omega Kibble, which is rare. 36. Okay, we went east last time, so we need to head down a bit that 87 if we want him. I kind of want to go for an over 100. I'm thinking. Um, he's aggroed on me. Let's have a look. I can't see anything. There's still a lot of trikes around. X trikes, yeah. Because this is like a dangerous biome. Volcano is always dangerous. But it's like all the carnivores and stuff that live here normally. And get metal here at least, that's good. I'm probably better off spawning south if I want metal though. So I think it's a little bit of a safer area. Just while I'm getting stamina, I'm trying to spot RGs, but I can't. What's that a basilisk? Oh god, I don't want to go anywhere near him. I'm thinking RG is going to be like on this hill because RG is like hills. Oh, and I got a level up. Don't know if that's me or my bird. I think that's my bird. Because my bird is very low level right now. Yeah, on XP level, I mean. Just chuck some health in. Health is always good, but... I think most of these things will one-shot me anyway. Water jugs. Okay. That's gonna kill me. That's gonna kill me. Yep. They're gonna kill me quite often. Um... Those are low level RGs. What way was I heading? I was heading south, wasn't I? So I wanted to head over this way. Not 
right into the mountain. I'd love to go into the mountain though, that would be awesome. Ooh, uh, if I can kite those magma saws off, we've got a glitch we can get. But that does mean kiting some magma saws that will probably kill me off the edge. I don't have anywhere safe to land here. This is the problem with this biome, there's not really many safe places. That's a saber tooth as well. No, it's not, it's a pearl over. Okay, uh, looks like a saber tooth. No, it's more like a dog. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to tame two magma souls off, so I'm probably going to carry up. I don't want to risk losing this bird. Unless it's for a better bird. <laughs> but that's what I do. Okay, let's look for some RGs. Where are RGs? Come on. Stop hiding. That guy's aggroed on me from a mile away. What is that? What the hell is that? What on earth is that? It says it's a basilisk. Oh, is that an underground basilisk? Oh, yeah, that's a basilisk in the rock. Okay, yep. I thought that was like a nest for a basilisk, but that's it dug into the ground. Which is kind of glitchy. Very glitchy, but... Okay, I still can't see any decent RGs. Am I flying too high? Is that, the, is that the issue? Am I too close to the summit? Hmm. More magma sores. Well, here's the uh, gold, gold, the oil and uh, metal mine I usually use. I usually leave an RG around over like there. And uh, come and farm it from here. But an obsidian as well. But it looks like there's very hostile things here today. I'm going to start heading down because there is nothing really up here. I think I've flown to... Yeah, because I think I need to be over here where I saw the 87. Even so, that 87 I don't think I want too much. It's going to be... I need really over 100. Yeah, I need a toxic. That's really what I need. I need to land. I'm in not a great spot to land either. I think this might do. Might do. Might just take... I'm going to take five minutes here and find out where we can find toxic dinos on Genesis. So I will see you when I find out. And if they're in a different biome, I'll teleport there. And I shall see you when we arrive. Okay, so I've come into the bog biome. And I have... I can't see anywhere that says where Genesis spawns are for Primal Fear. So I'm just going to have to guess. But I remember I'm pretty sure I saw some Toxics in the um, bog biome. So I'm going to have a quick explore around. I'm actually... I'll be honest. I'm right next to this metal node. So I'm be honest. I think I might just grab some metal while I'm here. And hopefully we don't get attacked. I thought that was my bird flying off attacking something then. I was like, oh god, who's killing me now? Oh, this would be actually quite a good base. Because it is on the north spawn. Could I can't really farm metal, can I? Yeah, because it would despawn if I put any buildings near here. That's the disappointing part. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting a ton of metal here. I don't need this stone, I'll be honest, so... I'm just gonna grab metal. So all I want is the metal. Metal, metal, metal. Because metal is so valuable. Like, I always run out of metal. I think we can get quite a lot. But I shall see you when we are back and exploring the bog biome. And welcome back. We are back at the base. I know I said I'll be back when we explore the bog. But I've just kind of, kind of show you this. This... Okay, we've got a stack mob which like halves the weight of everything. Then the RG halves the weight again. So I've literally mined until I broke my pick. I've got 4,000 metal. Yes, that is a lot. Ooh, it comes out as a nice chunk now. 
Can I reach it? Yes. There you go. And that can start burning. That's not going to be done in like ages. I kept some of the end stone, but I didn't particularly keep much of the stone. Because I didn't need it, or I didn't think I needed it. Um, what I have also done in my other one is I've got a primal forge, but that needs 150 obsidian. The rest I think I can get, but I shall do that later, I think. Um, okay. So 230 wood in there. I could probably do some more. I've. I, th I can see most of the islands I've been to have respawned their trees because I went and cleared half of that. Um, so let's just chuck this in here. There you go. And that should be working for a while. I may need to leave. Oh god, I'm stuck downstairs. I may need to leave that on for a long, long while before I actually uh, get all of that metal. I will probably need to make a primal smithy. Yeah, he is a non nice man, that guy in uh, the demonic. Methopithecus. I can't even say his name. Okay. But we could probably explore this biome for a few more. Um, whatever they're called. Glitches. That's it. But I don't think we're going to. Is this just stacks of bodies? Am I just seeing like a stack of bodies over here? What the hell has killed all of these guys? I'll be honest, I'm not wasting the opportunity. Yeah, as you can see, the pillars were really hard to build, and uh, I did die quite a lot. Like, a lot. There's a lot of dangerous things. Ooh, that's quite nice. I like that. Does that mean that part that we can't see is the broken off part into the world? Because there is parts of that everywhere. Okay, we are going to head back to the bog, and I shall see you... When we arrive at the bog, hopefully. Which which direction should we go? Let's do a random way, a random way, a random way. I'm not even looking, not even looking. Oh, I didn't even click anything. Whoops. Random wheel, I'll look this time to make sure I'm spinning. Random wheel, random wheel, random wheel, and we're going south. Okay, let's find out what's in the south. I shall see you when we arrive. Okay, so we have spawned in and we are in the sulfur pits, I believe this is. These are the... Poison trees ready to gather sulfur, I believe. Or is it congealed gel? I don't know, but... Ooh, there's a glitch. See what dangerous things are nearby. There's always something dangerous near these glitches for me. Um, don't think they're aggro. Don't think they do. Does he aggro? No, he is a friendly person. I think... But if you, he's the one if you attack, though, he will literally latch you onto his tail. I fixed the glitch, but I spotted another change to the simulation. One I don't think the designers intended. It's a swamp gas in the bog biome. Okay. As designed, it was just supposed to put you to sleep if you lingered in it too long. But it's killing survivors by the slab. Don't breathe it unless you've got a mask or something. Oh, okay, so that is the um, gas stuff. You get the congealed gas then. But you can't survive it without a mask. So that's helpful that she told me that. A low-level pterodon, I do not want you. A uh, low-level pterodon, I do not want you. <laughs> Just going to repeat. Ah, oh, no, I forgot to repair my pit. An alpha dimorphodon, don't want to attack him. So an iguadodon... So we're mainly looking for like turtles are the ones that you that toxic that are the easiest to get. I don't even think we can tame them yet, I don't think. So you need toxic kibble, I think. Which means we need to get a farm set up. Ugh, I hate farms. I might I might put a uh, farm mod on to be honest, because farming is so difficult. I have it in my other series and we ran the farm for like two days without shutting down the server and we got like two carrots. Maybe not two, like 20. So, if I want to mass produce that, it's not going to be a viable option. Alpha Baryonyx, don't want to go near you. Sarko, low level. Baryonyx. Uh, explosions, don't want to be anywhere near him. That is a demon. A buffoon Ferox, actually. They are tameable at some point. Don't ask me. And I'm landing. Okay, brilliant. 
I forgot about stamina, didn't I? This is not going to go well if there's anything dangerous nearby. What's that? Don't know. Oh, that's a pig. Daydream. Oh, that is dangerous, though. Um, I've got very little stamina. I need to get somewhere safe. Um, over here. This probably is not safe, but... It is safer than over there, I believe. Let's get some stamina. I need to get to that pillar. Uh, come on. What's the pillar I saw? That one. I don't know if I'll make it. Uh, yeah, I'll make it with the stamina I've got. See, this is the issue. It's always stamina in these places because there's nowhere to land. Ooh, I can get crystal here. I think I need a ton of crystal for... I don't have a pickaxe, do I? I forgot to repair it. I just mentioned that like 30 seconds ago. <sighs> I am so forgetful. But yeah, um, we'll need crystal for like greenhouses. Because um, we need a greenhouse for the... Uh, even if you put a mod on, it just increases the speed, I believe, when you put a mod on. Or I will probably only find one that increases the speed of it. So you still need to find seeds, fertilizer, and water them. An elder moss chops. An elder? Oh god, I don't know. Elders? They, I thought they were used some kind of special kibble, but obviously they don't. And I can't zoom in with this, like I thought I... I can, but when I'm not on the dino. Because right click does something else then. I'm not really seeing much of anything in here. Moss chops. Really? This is rare. I don't know what other biome to go for or for toxics. I know you can raptors, I believe, or is it dilophosaurus? You can get X raptors. I don't want an X. I want a. Uh, you know what I mean. A toxic. That's it. So I've almost explored most of this biome. I've explored quite a lot of the winter biome. Done a very tiny bit of the. Um, space biome but that was in a different map done most of the ocean done all of the volcano okay so space one is the one i have not explored much at all and i do need some proper kit before i go there but it's going to be the most glorious i hope i really hope okay should probably get a blood stalker that'd be good but they are hard to get. Because I need a ton of blood bags for that. Why do I have XP boost? Did I get a explorer note that I didn't even notice? Okay, I must have. Is this the guy? Oh, yes, this is the guy. This is the guy. The ramshackle wandering loot boss. Okay, that's a mouthful. Yes, that is the guy. When I lost audio, I lost an audio clip. Um, that is the guy I spotted. I believe you just kill him and you get loot or something. But I'm not going to even try to kill him. He's got like 700k health or whatever it is. And I have got like 2k on my bird. And my bird does no damage. I bet you it probably won't even do over 200 damage, my bird. I spot a glitch. I'm going to go for this glitch. I think this has just turned into another wandering round episode. Oh, oh, oh my god. There's a lot of bloodstalkers there. Do we? What? Do we? Can you get a... Alpha... Imagine an Alpha Bloodstalker. Oh my god. i just got to stay away and make sure I don't get... That's a beehive. Beehive. I've got to make sure I don't get grabbed by a Bloodstalker. Because if I get grabbed, I will die probably. Because I have no parachute. So... As soon as I attack it, it will uh, kill me. Another glitch caused by access okay. to all earth pets. This one's a letter from Jeremy Benham in the 1700s. God. It's describing a prison where the guards can see to every cell. The inspectors concealed from the observation of the prisoners, hence the sentiment of a sort of invisible omnipresence. The whole circuit reviewable. Wow. I'd say that's more than a bit ominous. They're on about close circuit. Television or whatever it is, CCTV. There you that go. Was about the archives. Someone 
accessed a 19th century novel called The Coming Race. In the book, an underground explorer finds an advanced culture of creatures called the Vrilia. Their whole society relies on an old permeating fluid called Vril that they control with their minds. Wow. It sounds a bit like liquid element if you ask me. Wow, okay. That's not something that happened in our history. I thought most of these glitches were referring to our world, so to speak, like the real world. But I really hope they can't grab from above those guys. What do I see down here? I probably should get some stamina. I'm not that bad, actually, on stamina. Um, they're Beezle buffs. don't know if they can get a toxic Beezle. Beezle buff. Well, I can't even say the word. Uh, ooh, even more Bloodstalkers. Why am I landing? I haven't run out of stamina, have I? No. 75, 30. There's some good ones there. I should really... Oh my god, that is spooky. That one I was about to run into there. Okay, how do I get out of this? I need to go this direction. Oh my god. I'll be honest, with this spyglass, it's just so easy to spot them. Oh my god, I'm in a different world up here. I have so got to build like a blood stalkery base up here. Or like a... I'm under attack. Don't want by. Probably the blood stalker underneath me. Got to so build a base up here. Oh my god, this is like a whole nother world. I haven't really explored this up here, I'll be honest. This is new to me. Up this. Oh my god, there's a glitch all the way up there. There's a glitch here. Well, that's lucky. I'm not lucky. I don't know. I'm just farming hexagons now. I could probably also... I don't know if it's still a thing. I don't know if I should still be... If I should do it or not. But I'm aware that there was a... Oh, God. There was a glitch where you could finish the mission, like a mission, really quickly and get a reward. But without actually completing it, you completed some of it. Um, I don't even know if I can get out of this. Come on. Am I being really stupid now? Yeah. You should be proud, though. The whole point of the simulation is to identify the best survivors. And you're alive right now, so you're on the running. Yeah, I've heard that one before, Helena. Please tell me a different one. Um, there was one I was going for that was higher up. Um, I think I was coming from this direction. It was like above here. There's one down there I see now. I wanted to get this one up first. Um, I have completely lost sight of it. Oh, there's two down here. Three down here. Might as well go get these, because if we can get more hex guns, we can get more tame helpers and stuff. Just make sure no blood stalkers kill me. It's a 12. I like these. These are nice. They look good. Okay. Is there any danger around this one? Most likely there is, because there always is, isn't there? Oh, no. It's just a busy... Be oh. I can't even say their name, I'm just gonna give up. A frog. It's just a frog. I was peeking around the survivor database just now. Come on, you know how curious I get. And I saw about the structure of your minds. Wow, okay. Your size is anything to go by. What makes you, you specifically, is much more your personality than your memories. That's what the makers of the Genesis simulation lavish their attention on. Getting your personality just right. And if they had to cut corners on your memories of all time Earth, well, well, I guess you can't remember what you can't remember. So basically saying uh, if size is anything to go by. Well, wink wink. No. <laughs> no. She was just basically saying right. our memories are not as important as our personality. For once we've got a glitch which our memories make our personality mostly. Misbehaving survivors. Oh my god, this so many glitches. The makers of the simulation called it a key. It's even more there. Combination of key and nodule. And it's a self-contained passkey capable of editing itself. You should see what it looks like in the coding VR. It's a wee unassuming thing, but drop it in the wrong part of the simulation and it'll cause heaps of trouble. Okay. I'm now getting coding lessons from Helena. Uh, fix this glitch. This is going to be a glitch fixing, fixing episode. This biome is 
teeming with life. So much life that it's making the simulation glitch out. Imagine what it takes to keep track of the insect swarms alone. Thousands of insects, Ooh, each on its own flight path, each looking for something to consume. Hmm. They're rather like tiny versions of you survivors, aren't they? Wow, we got compared to an insect swarm. Uh, we got, uh, god damn it. Oh, I got dropped at least. Um, follow. And passive. Come here. Thank you. Come here. Oh my god. What the hell did you just do that for? It's maybe a little bit of a dangerous one to get this. Oh my god, you just... Oh, you never care, do you, about yourself? I do admit, though... Oh, I don't know. Should I try it? No, nope. They're instantly after me. They're instantly after me. I'm not going for that. That's too dangerous. I don't want to die. Right, if I die here, I've lost the bird and everything. There's no way I'll be able to recover it. There's no way. So I'm just going to go for the safe ones. And be done at that. Safer ones. Okay. Let's grab these last two. And I think that should be it for this yeah, episode. We've really been uh, repairing glitches left, right and centre. Glitch, There's I another one. Oh, we've got a torch now. Press the wrong key. And all over its history. I don't know how much of it you remember, okay. though. As for how you got into the Genesis simulation, well... That is hostile. Your guess is as good yeah. as mine. You should be proud, though. Come on, mate. Run off the, the cliff. You're stupid, aren't you? Very best survivors. And you're alive right yep, now, so you're stupid. As I thought. Okay. Let's grab this glitch quickly. Uh... Or is that a glitch from above? Might be a glitch from above. No, it's a glitch from below, isn't it? Because it only goes up so far. So, yeah, it's in here. There it is. See, I knew that. I knew that one. Honest. I wasn't being stupid. Oh, okay. Let's see, there's quicksand, massive spiderwebs, thick foliage, rising water from monsoons, plus all the muck that sticks to everything. Makes me glad I can float, it does. Okay, Helena is just showing off now. Okay, I'm just going to turn this off and see if we can get a nice green shot. That should do. I caught a glimpse of the database. You know, you've got to get those thumbnails. All over Earth. And all over its history. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, how just let, let let's just let her finish first. As for how you got she, into the she doesn't like to be interrupted. Well, it's hell on her for you. Your guess is as good as mine. You should be proud though. The whole point of the simulation is to identify the very best survivors. And you're alive right now, so you're on the running. Wow, well done. Thank you, Helena, for informing me that. Thank you very much for tuning in for another episode of I was about to say Ghost Recon Breakpoint. <laughs> wrong series, wrong series. Thank you very much for tuning in to Arc Genesis Primal Fear. I have enjoyed this. I hope you have too. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. So thank you very much, and I shall see you in the next one.